Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about setups and in particular which setup is the best one for developers. So on one end there are people who prefer the portability of a laptop. On the other there are people who prefer the power and customizability of desktop PCs. Of course the best option would be to get both a desktop and a laptop but that could get pretty expensive, right? Well, it depends on your needs because if you do your research right, the combination of desktop and laptop PC could be cheaper than getting a laptop alone. So let me explain. Developing in general is a pretty resource intensive task. You may want to compile some code, you may want to run some virtual machines and also managing hundreds of Chrome tabs when you're trying to fix a bug. Well, all those things require a lot of RAM and a pretty powerful CPU to be managed. And of course, you can get a pretty powerful CPU and a lot of RAM in a laptop, but those options tend to be pretty expensive. Looking at one of the most expensive options, we have the MacBook Pro, which for $2,400 gets you 16 gigabytes of RAM, 500 gigabytes of SSD and a six core processor. But also other cheaper options such as the ThinkPad goes for as much as 1600 euros, which are still quite a lot. And there's a reason for that, portability and size. Squeezing all that performance in a small form factor tend to make things more expensive. The thing is a similarly specced desktop PC tend to be much cheaper. We are talking about seven to $900, depending on the deals you find. And on top of that, you get a lot of customization options. You get better future reparability and also better performances due to the improved heat dissipation. And many of you at this point would argue, yes, but you cannot use your desktop when traveling or for example, taking notes during university lectures. My solution to the problem is buying a mid-range laptop. Mine is pretty decent. It has a quad-core processor, i5 processor. It has eight gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of NVMe storage. It has a solid eight hour battery life, good keyboard, good trackpad, and a full HD monitor, which is pretty nice. I always use it when traveling and in two years, I've never had any complaints. Of course, eight gigabytes of RAM can be a bit limiting in certain tasks, but what I found is that uh, in the relatively rare occasions in which I need to program and I'm not at home, then uh, it's pretty decent for the price. And uh, if I need full power, full performance, then I use my desktop PC, which offers me the best experience ever compared to any other laptop for a fraction of the price. Another advantage is that my whole setup is more fault tolerant. If uh, either my laptop or my desktop PC break, then I have another one as backup if I need to do some work in a short amount of time while I get the other one repaired. And my point here is in order to get productive as a developer, you need a decently powerful machine. And in order to get a decently powerful laptop, then you generally need to spend quite a lot of money for the same specs. Whereas if you get a powerful PC and a mid-range laptop, you can get the best bang for your buck. And of course, this may not apply very well to everyone. If for example, you don't have enough space for a desktop PC at home, or you want a lot of portability, you travel a lot that in those cases, this setup won't work as well. But for the others, think about it because it's really a valuable choice. And just to make an example, my current desktop PC with a whole three monitors, a GPU, four SSDs, uh, 24 gigabytes of RAM, and a lot of other things costed me about a thousand euros over the years. On top of that, 500 euros for my laptop and for about 1700 euros you get a killer combination and that amount of money is less than many of the options i showed before and for example much less than a macbook pro so that was all for this video i hope you liked it if you did please consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like below because it really helps and i hope to see you next time